And ladies and gentlemen, that's why in that debate again on Tuesday night, uh, he demonstrated that he understands. He understands that this election is not about me or Governor Palin. It's not about Barack Obama or John McCain. This election, this debate about where to go is about you. It's about the American people. It's about the fact that right here in Missouri, 70,000 manufacturing jobs have been lost in the last eight years. The fact that 137,000 folks in Missouri are living in poverty. That you, you, your challenges are what Barack Obama and I want to talk about. But you know, your challenges, the challenges of the American people seem to be the last thing in the minds of John McCain and his running mate. On Monday, on Monday, one of John McCain's top strategists told the Washington Post, and I'm quoting, we're looking forward to turning the page on this economic crisis. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he didn't mean solving the crisis. He meant ignoring it and attacking Barack Obama. That's what he meant. Well, you know, folks, as you well know, most Americans don't have the luxury of ignoring the economy. They don't have the luxury of ignoring the cost of filling their gas tank, buying groceries, paying tuition, maintaining their health care policy, or even paying their mortgages. You know, we don't think you can turn the page until we have a leader with the ideas to write a different ending to the story. That's right. You know, we've all seen it before. We've seen it the last several races, presidential races. When the McCain guys start saying things like, we want to turn the page, you know what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to take the lowest road to the highest office in America, and that's what's underway right now. These vicious attacks that are going on about Barack Obama. And ladies and gentlemen, a recent, a recent analysis has shown, literally shown, that 100% of the ads that are being posted by John McCain's campaign are negative. Well, I guess when you vote with George Bush 90% of the time, you have no alternative but 100% of the time to attack the other guy. So, folks, as the soon-to-be Governor Nixon said, don't be distracted. Those attacks don't hurt Barack Obama. Those attacks don't hurt me. Every single false charge, every single baseless accusation is an attempt to stop you from paying attention to what's affecting your daily lives, what's happening at your kitchen table. That's what this is about. And beyond the attack, beyond the attacks you're hearing, what is John McCain really offering? What about the past eight years? What about the past, literally now, not, not being figurative, literally, what about the policies of the past eight years is John McCain offering to change in the next four years? No. Nothing. Nothing fundamental. Not one fundamental change. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't change the next four years. If for the last eight years you've supported George Bush in trying to privatize Social Security, you can't change the next four years. If you've been with George Bush the last eight years and recently blocked, blocked ensuring 3,800,000 children getting health care, you can't change America when you continue to cling, when you continue to cling to a George Bush foreign policy, which can be summarized as shoot first, ask questions later, and figure out what to do then.